We just told JL and Jensen that we are going to be moving from Georgia to Arkansas to be closer to our family. <laughs> I think she's excited. Are you excited, JL? <laughs> Boy. Okay, so let me catch you up real quick. Uh, the short version is, you know, we're really big on family and being in Atlanta made it really hard for us to see everyone without taking a nine or 10 hour road trip or a long flight uh, every time we wanted to be close to our family. So we just decided the best decision was probably just to move back home to Arkansas. I feel good. You know why? Because we've been trying to find a place to live and it's hard out here for a pimp. Everybody and their mama buying up houses, renting up houses. We didn't know where we were gonna live and we gotta get out of here soon. Like what, two weeks, three weeks? It's interesting because last time we had this pressure, usually it's because of a lease ending. This time it's because we own this place and our lease is starting. We're gonna have people living in here. So we gotta get out. Anywho, God is good, God is great. Let us take it for our food. By his hands we're all fed. Blessed be the fruit. Come on, May he provide, head. amen. So then it was time to pack up. Boxes all over the house, laughing over old memories. One thing that we found is that leaving was gonna be harder than we thought. You helping? Let me vlog. Go. Packing for? I'm packing for a move back to Arkansas. There's nobody else to blame. It's you, just you. I am sad. This is our first house that we bought together and I remember unpacking this house thinking that whoa this is the first time that we get to like fully unpack because we moved every two years and I'm actually packing it in less than two years. I'm like sad about that. You know, saying goodbye is hard especially because we've made some really great friends here who've become family to us. And, you know, we didn't think this was going to be possible because of the pandemic, but our friends were able to throw us a surprise, socially distanced, going away party before we left. What else was there I could do But gaze into those eyes of blue I'm all shook up and I'm stuck like glue you, just you. I the last scene in the house, and this girl over here shedding tears. You sad, bro? <laughs> it's okay. I'm not gonna pick on you. You wanna talk about it? Nope. <laughs> you can leave me alone now. You know, I've heard people say that life is like a book, and each moment is like a chapter. I think I'll call this chapter healing. I'll save the full story for another day, but just know that moving to Atlanta was very scary at first, but it ended up being everything we needed. The relationships we formed, the business opportunities we landed, the way we grew in our relationship with God and with each other, and you know, all the memories and the moments that we made with our kids. We'll never forget the time we had in Atlanta. Just you, just you. I don't mind giving all my time For a minute of your love mm -hmm. So as we close this chapter, we walk head first, trusting God into the next one. We pray that you'll go with us on this journey as we continue to tell our story. Until next time, we'll see you in Arkansas. For a minute of your love, your love.